Welcome, fellow Walking Dead fans. Solid Dave Snake here, wrapping up my Walking Dead collection videos with the one that everyone has been waiting for, the complete collection of Walking Dead TV series action figures. So everything that has been made for the TV series action figures is present and accounted for from when it all started, 2011, to the end of 2015. So nothing from 2016 is present here. But uh, I just want to make a quick apology that this was not in uh, my collection week. I had previously recorded this video during collection week, and whenever I went to upload it, I noticed something had messed up with the video, and I'd already taken everything down, so this is my second go of it, so just to get that out of the way, I apologize, but yeah, this video will serve as a complete guide for you, and a price guide as well, so kind of a checklist and price guide, as I'll go over all the current prices that these action figures are going for on eBay, but if you want an actual internet site as a checklist, Go check out the TheWalkingDeadWeebly.com. I'll put a link in the description below. A good friend of ours over at the Walking Dead Action Figures and Memorabilia Facebook group, Sean Thompson, created that webpage to make a complete checklist not only for the TV series action figures, but the comic series and building sets as well. So go ahead and check that out. Also, if you want to check out any of my other Walking Dead collection videos, they are the previous uploads here in my channel. So go ahead and check that out. I did a complete collection video for the comic series action figures as well as the building sets and mini mates and also in the description below i will put a playlist for all the reviews of these tv series action figures i do have individual reviews on everything uh, every single figure that you see up here so you can check that out if you want to see any of my reviews on these so all right there's a lot to go over so without further ado let's just jump right into this and start off where it all began with the Walking Dead TV series one and it all started off with four action figures we have two walkers and two hero characters in this series we have the zombie walker and the zombie biter and both of these go for roughly in between uh, the zombie walker about 60 to 70 and the zombie biter around uh, 70 to 90. He's getting a little higher now. But all these figures in this series are hard to find. And then we have Daryl Dixon and Rick Grimes. Which both of these figures shot up initially about a year after release. They really started gaining some value. Especially Daryl Dixon since he was only two per case. And Rick Grimes was four per case, but he got pretty rare as well. And Daryl Dixon actually went down in value a little bit after all the releases of the current Daryl Dixon action figures. He was at his highest whenever this was the only Daryl Dixon action figure that you could get. And at the highest, he went up to 300 but now he's floating around, oh, in between men on card around 200 to 250 at the most. And Rick Grimes is going for uh, in between about the same, 200 and 250 for men on card. If you're lucky, you might be able to find them uh, closer around the 150 range. And now we have the holy grail of all these Walking Dead action figures and the hardest to find, which is the bloody black and white Deputy Rick Grimes, which was a Toys R Us exclusive. And whenever this first came out, I believe they were only putting one per case. So he was very hard to find and goes now for in between $300 to $400 for one men on card. So definitely the most valuable up here. And also there were three different, or I'm sorry, two different package sizes for this initial run of Series 1. We have the large card, which I prefer, and then they did a short card for the GameStop release, which I don't care for that packaging as much. But just to let you know, they do have it. And for Series 2, they actually had three different card sizes. However, my favorite were the large cards, so that's what I got. And in this series, we have De uh, Deputy Rick Grimes, which he goes for roughly in between 60 to 80 now, men on card. Shane Walsh, 
and he goes for around 30 to 50. Bicycle Girl Zombie, RV Zombie, and Well Zombie. And all three of these zombies from Series 2 float around in between 40 to 60 bucks. And moving on to Series 3, they finally kicked the large card format and went strictly with the long short card. And in this series, we have Autopsy Zombie, which he goes for roughly in between $30 to $50 now. Michonne's Pet 1, Michonne, and Michonne's Pet 2. And the two pets go for roughly around in between $20 to $40. And at the uh, Michonne, she will run in between $40 to $60 now. And then to wrap up uh, Series 3, we get Merle Dixon. And you can still find him for slightly above retail price. Around twenty-five, thirty. You really should not be paying any more than that for Merle. And then we'll move on to Series 4, which this is the first series that was really mass-produced. And you can still find all the figures in this series for... Roughly around retail price. You really shouldn't be paying more than $20, $25 for any of these figures in this series. Except for the Walgreens exclusive Rick Grimes. Who goes for anywhere in between $40 to $60 now. So he's become harder to obtain since he was only released through Walgreens. But in this series we get the Governor, Carl Grimes, the exclusive Rick, Andrea... Riot Gear Zombie, and the Gas Mask Riot Gear Zombie. And then moving on to Series 5. You can roughly find these for all around retail price. And we have the Charred Zombie, Tyrese, Glen Ree, Maggie, Merle Zombie, and then... Shortly after that release, we get our very first flashback series, or is what McFarlane called the Solid Series. And we got a flashback version of Shane Walsh, which is the exact same body mold as the Series 2 Shane, only with a new uh, head sculpt, that hat. And then after that flashback, we got three more flashbacks. We got the RV Zombie, Michonne, and Daryl Dixon, which these were all pretty much straight-up re-releases. Uh, the RV Zombie is straight-up re-release of the Series 2 RV Zombie. The Michonne is a straight-up re-release of the Series 3. However, in this pack, she comes with one of the Governor's fish tanks and her two pets' heads to put in the fish tanks. So a little bit of variety there. But then with this Daryl Dixon... This is a straight-up re-release of the Daryl Dixon that came with the bike in that box set. So I wasn't too uh, unhappy with them releasing a single card of that action figure since I thought it deserved it. It was such a great figure. But they have released uh, this figure many more times. As you can see here in Series 6, they re-released that same Daryl Dixon just in the Series 6 packaging. So they went a little overboard with it. And in actual Series 6, we got Carol, a new version of Rick Grimes, Abraham Ford, Herschel Green, a new governor in his trench coat, and the Bungie Walker. And all of these action figures you can pretty much find at retail. However, the... Herschel Green may be getting a little harder to find. And the Governor was originally a Walgreens exclusive, but he ended up showing everywhere. Showing up everywhere. So moving on from Series 6, we'll go over here to Series 7. And in Series 7, we got Carl Grimes, the Walgreens exclusive, Rick Grimes, Michonne, the Mudwalker, the Target exclusive Herschel Green, and Gareth. And all of these you still may be able to find at retail for retail prices. 
except for the Rick Grimes and Herschel Green. They may be getting a little harder to find. Um, well, I know the Herschel Green is getting harder to find. Uh, I had a big problem with Target with these exclusives. I never even saw Herschel Green in store. I had to order them offline. And right now, he's going for anywhere in between $50 to $80 on eBay. So that Herschel's getting uh, really tough to hunt down if you haven't got them already, at least for a decent price. And some people are still finding these Rick Grimes. You're going to be on the tail end of finding these, though. So I kind of figure he'll start going up in price soon. But right now you can find them close for retail. Definitely don't pay over $25 for them now. And then kind of going with the flashbacks, they renamed the uh, Solid Series from uh, what they were doing with those flashbacks for this series being 7.5. And in it, we get Woodbury Assault Rick Grimes, which is basically a repaint of the Series 6 Rick with some different accessories. The Cell Block Flu Walker, who is my uh, favorite zombie from the TV series, done in action figure form. Great action figure and is a reuse of some of the parts off the Series 5 Glen Ree. However, there are a lot of new molded parts, so that is a great example of a reuse. And then we get Grave Digger Daryl Dixon, who was an exclusive to Walgreens. And once again, that's using the same body as that previous Daryl Dixon, just with a new head sculpt and that shovel accessory. And then moving on from 7.5, we get Series 8. And in it, we have Rick, Morgan, Dale, Bob, Eugene, and the Target exclusive Tyrese, and the GameStop exclusive Carol. And all of these you can still find at retail. However, it will be kind of hard to find a Tyrese if you haven't found one yet, since he was a Target exclusive. And I've seen him on the secondary market going for in between 25 30 bucks. So if you haven't found him yet and want him, you may want to jump on him soon before he starts going up like that Herschel. So that'll wrap up all the individual series, and now we'll take a look at the back here of some of the box sets that have come out. And we'll start down on this end, and we have the Dixon Brother 2-pack, which was basically a re-release of that Series 1 Daryl Dixon with a muddy paint job and a different head sculpt, a better head sculpt. And it was the same Merle Dixon from Series 3, just with a different colored jacket. And they really mass produced that, just like with Series 4, so you should still be able to find that for retail prices, roughly around in between $30 to $40. And whenever all this started, they did the bloody black and white box sets. They did two of them, one for Series 2 and one for Series 3. The one for Series 2... We got all the zombies in the series done in the bloody black and white treatment. And that's getting harder to find. You're going to end up paying in between $50 to $70 for that now. And this three-pack of Michonne and her pets done in the bloody black and white treatment is actually harder to find than the previous one. You're going to be paying in between $60 to $90 for that now. And then we have some of the 10-inch figures. We have the first one done which was Daryl Dixon. And all these 10-inch figures, they really mass-produced them, so you can still pretty much find them all for retail. We get the bloody version of Daryl Dixon. And then we have Rick Grimes. And the previous year's release, Michonne. So I love those 10-inch figures. Great sculpts. And then we have from Series 6... Our first deluxe vehicle box set, and it was Daryl Dixon with his chopper. And this you can pretty much still find for retail as well because they kept reissuing it. I think the second release had a little different uh, box style, but consisted of the same stuff. And then with Series 8, we got a box set of Morgan with the Spike Trap Walker. And you can still find that at retail price or at, at actual stores. 
So, all right, everybody. That'll wrap up the Walking Dead TV series action figures of everything that has been made from 2011 to 2015. And Series 9 has just recently started popping up, so expect full reviews on those soon. So, all right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later.